PHE Minister Marcus Marak on Tuesday informed that the Meghalaya government, in collaboration with the Asian Development Bank, plans to construct nearly 1,000 small multipurpose reservoirs across the state to enhance rainwater retention. Marak informed that the economic activities like plantation and agriculture will accompany reservoir construction, supported by ADB experts assessing the potential impact. Notably, despite receiving 63 billion cubic liters of rain annually, the state can only retain 1 billion cubic liters. Currently, over 52 small multipurpose reservoirs are being built in Shillong, with 32 already completed. It may be mentioned that the recent fire incident in Police Bazaar underscored the importance of such reservoirs, prompting increased water bodies development in and around Shillong. Also, the East Khasi Hills District Administration has mapped water bodies, prioritizing areas for water check dams and harvesting. In this regard, we are coming up with a um, project called Climate Adaptive Project uh, for which uh, ADB is funding. So the tenders will be floated any moment now. First pass, uh, I hope it is already uploaded in the website because it, it will be an online tender. So for that, uh, we are getting projects are already prepared. Uh, these projects are actually multi-purpose reservoirs small multipurpose reservoirs across the state. 1,000 uh, multipurpose reservoirs are being constructed. And not only the reservoirs, um, after with these reservoirs are coming several kind of uh, economic activities there. Planting will be there, plantations will be there, and then agriculture activities also will be there. And for this, you know, ADB has already sent their experts to study and to get the you know knowledge of uh, the economic impact for the people over there so this is already done it is ready so once the tender is uh, over once the tender is allotted the work will start very soon this is basically to you know uh, uh, retain the water rain waters that is being uh, dropped here in our state so this with this, we would we are hoping to retain at least uh, half the percent of the rainwaters which is coming in our state. So, uh, with this, I think we'll be able to recharge the groundwaters and also to retain the waters that are pouring from the. Uh, this is for East Kasi Hills. We have already uh, the thing ready. I hope by now, by the time I'm speaking, I think we must have uploaded the tender. Earlier, we were getting uh, good number, around 700 crores I have spoken, but then now it has come down because uh, the externally aided projects we, which we are getting from the government of India, we have reached the climax that, uh, that, uh, that is why we are not getting the 700 crores now, but we'll be getting at least 60% uh, of the m amount that already uh, proposed earlier. So we are hoping to get at least 400 crores, uh, 400 plus crores we will be hoping to get. Let me tell you, you know, ADB is very strict on this. Um, after the department has proposed these projects, they have sent the experts, economic experts, environmental experts, everything has been sent by the ADB because this, is, has, this has to be a sustainable project for, uh, you know, future. So therefore, uh, every aspect has been considered here. Uh, so everything has been considered that's why tenders uh, floated already so let's hope tendering process will take some time and then uh, whoever will be the uh, l1 the work may be allotted to him or her uh, so once the work is allotted they will start to work hopefully by january february they must they must be uh, they should be starting the work